Now, usually I start these videos and I'm like, I didn't expect this to happen. But in this case, I fully did. I fully expected a scathing response from Live Golf. After earlier this week, they were denied any world ranking points for their events. And yeah, the response, I'm going to say it right now, you're going to be surprised, but I 100% agree with what they are saying. I think us as golfers are eventually going to be robbed of what technically are the best players in the world playing at the major championships. Like, I 100% at some point think that will be the case if a merger or world ranking points aren't available for live golfers. Now, in this video, we're going to go through exactly what the world golf rankings are saying, an actual statement from their side of things. We're also going to go through the scathing response from Live Golf because I genuinely think at one point they thought they had this nailed down in the bag, which is really interesting because by the sounds of things, it took a full 180. Now, let's firstly start off with this question. So, I just said, like, I'm fully behind Live Golf, and I fully think the world ranking system is something where it has become outdated. Now, earlier this year, John Ram hit out against the world ranking system. He said, how can some players win twice in certain events and be inside the world's top 10 and then not become world number one in the world? Paraphrase that, but that was the nux of what he was saying. Now, the world ranking system works in a little bit of a funny way. It works this way. Ranking points are derived from each eligible tournament's field rating. Simple way of saying this, the events like the majors will always have more world ranking points because it has more of the best players in the world playing. Say, for example, the tournaments that are in the fall schedule on the PGA Tour, these tournaments tend to have a lot less world ranking points because you have a lot less of the world's top 10 players playing the events. So essentially, the more higher up ranking people in the event, the more points that are on offer. The official World Golf Ranking System is a run over a rolling ranking periods. Ranking points are maintained for the full value for 13 week periods. From the relevant ranking date at which they were awarded to the place additional emphasis on recent performances. So essentially, more uh, relevance on the recent performances and a rolling 13 week. But I really feel like the whole system has become outdated. I don't really feel right now it represents what the best players in the world are. Now, with all these videos, I love it when you put your opinion. So please don't be scared. I respond to all these comments myself, and I would love it if you just put your two penneth down there. Let me know what you think, because that's what this debate, that's what this channel, and that's what this breaking news channel is all about. We deliver the breaking news, but I also want to hear what you think on it. Now, let's go into this story a little bit further. This is interesting. Now, the official World Golf Ranking decision is a massive blow for Liv because they now only have two players inside the world's top 50, Brooks Kepka and Cameron Smith. The likes of Bryson DeChambeau and Johnson are now outside the world's top 100. Now, this is what I'm saying. For a few of these players that have already won majors, they will still get the invites to the majors for a period of time. But we're going to be robbed. Like, can you imagine a major at one point without Brooks, without Cam Smith, without Patrick Reed, without Dustin Johnson, without Bry Bryson DeChambeau? Really, we're being robbed of that. And as a golf fan, I seriously want to see the best players play more often. That's all I want. That's all what the PGA Tour are trying to facilitate right now. And that's exactly why I disagree with what's happened and I, why I agree with the statement and the scathing report that Live Golf have put out. Right. Okay. So let's move on further. So I mentioned to you that I, we thought that official World Golf rankings were going to announce that Live Golf are going to get the points. One, because Greg Norman said forever that they were. But also, at the Alfred Dunhill this week, His Excellency Yas Araiman played alongside Peter Dawson. Now, Peter Dawson, World Golf Rankings boss, essentially. They played with each other at the Alfred Dunhill. And everybody was saying, this is meaning they're going to get the points. This meaning that they're going to get the green light. They're going to get the thumbs up for World Ranking points. Well, 
that seriously wasn't the case. Now, what was said here? Let's dive into this. So, Peter Dawson said this. We're not at war with them. This decision not to make them eligible is not political. It's entirely technical. Lib players are self-evidently good enough to be ranked. They're just not playing in a format where they can be ranked equitably with the other 24 tours and thousands of players trying to compete on them. Dustin Johnson, Sergio Garcia, of course they should be in the rankings. We need to find a way to get that done. I hope that Live Golf can find a solution, not so much their format, that can be dealt with through a mathematical formula, but the qualification and relegation. So essentially what the official World Golf rankings are saying here are the fact that they're happy with the shotgun start, they're happy with three rounds, that's fine, that's how you deal with your tour, but they're not happy with it being essentially a closed shot. The fact that there is no relegation, for example, on the DP World Tour, if you lose your car on the DP World Tour, you go down to Challenge Tour. The ha same would happen on the PGA Tour, you lose your card, you go on the Web.com Tour. Players get relegated, players get promoted. And I think that would happen on the Asian Tour, the Australasia Tour, um, as many tours as we could sort of name throughout the world, there is some sort of relegation and promotion, whereas Live Golf don't have that. So I, I can see exactly what they're saying, but what, the reason why, again, I'm going back to this, I don't agree with them not getting it, is that as golf fans, we are going to be robbed at some point of watching the best players in the world play. Do you get what I'm saying here? Now, let's go through exactly what Live Golf response to this was, and like I say, it's pretty scathing. So it says this. Liv's golf response to this is, official World Golf Ranking's sole objective is to rank the best players across the globe. Today's communication makes it clear that this can no longer be delivered on that objective. Players have historically remained subject to the single world ranking qualifying for major championships, the biggest events, and corporate sponsors' contract value. A ranking which fails to fairly represent all participants, irrespective of where in the world they play golf. Rob's fans, players and of golf stakeholders, an objective bias underpinning any accurate recognition of the world's best player performances. It robs some traditional tournaments of the best fields, and I completely agree with that. It is. Unless, like we saw with the Masters, they're going to drop their guard and let these players in through invite because they technically know they are the best players. That's the only way that I get around that. But I find the Open and the US Open are going to struggle with that. Furthermore, they said this. Professional golf is now without a true global scoring and ranking system. There is no benefit for fans or players from the lack of trust or clarity as long as the best player performance are not recognized. We will continue to strive to level set the market so fans, broadcasters and sponsors have assurances of an independent and objective ranking system and pure enjoyment of watching the best players in the world play. So what I'm reading into this, and maybe I am putting two and two and getting five here, but I think they're going to create their world world golf ranking system. We heard rumors of this about a year and a half ago, and I think this will be the case. Obviously, Greg Norman hasn't delivered on his part to some of the players, and I think the likes of Cameron Smith did go there on the premise they were going to get real ranking points, but that's not the case. And he's also another big name. Look at this here, an article that I found on him hitting out against the world ranking system. A lot of players, whether on the Live side or on the PJ Tour side, don't agree with the system, don't agree with the world ranking system. So something has to be done. So the likes of me and you can watch the best players in the world play. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you simply never know when a breaking news story is going to be announced, which means if you turn the bell, you always get notified. Thanks for watching.